The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, has disbanded the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS. The disbandment takes immediate effect. The Special Anti-Robbery Squad of the Nigerian Police, otherwise known as SARS, is hereby dissolved across all formations, the 36 state police commands, and the federal capital territory where they currently exist. Consequently, all former SARS personnel would be posted to police formations nationwide. This development followed protests by youth calling for an end to SARS and police brutality. Earlier on Sunday in Abuja, the protest had moved from the Unity Fountain to the police force headquarters. There, they registered displeasure against F SARS brutality and continued violation of the rights of Nigerian youth. The protesters were dispersed by police tear gas canisters and water cannons. Some were allegedly attacked, bitten and arrested by the police. A similar situation was recorded in Ogun State on Saturday. Protesters were rough-handled and detained at the police headquarters. The disbandment of SARS, as announced by the Inspector General of Police, is a victory to the spirit of the Nigerian youth. It also shows the police leadership as a listening one. However, what should the police do in terms of concrete reform? We should also understand that this is not the first time they are banning SARS. Um, we were banned and unbanned, just like the politicians of the first and second republic, second republic and the third republic. But we should also know that what we should really be demanding for, like I said earlier on, is the reformation of the Nigerian police. It's not about the SARS. If you like, call it another name, rebrand it, you know, bring in the same men from the Nigerian police. You're still going to have the same mentality if you do not reform the Nigerian police. So it is not yet to rule. Yes, we have achieved uh, this milestone uh, by coming out and then. Uh, you know, asking that something be done and the government had seen the handwriting on the wall. The government also had uh, taken decisive steps because it became overwhelming. Even with the antics and the shooting of the police was as if, um, you know, they were resisting the cry of the people. Like they say, voice populi, voice dei. But this is not the end. We have not even achieved anything. Uh, kudos to everybody that had come out to ask for this uh, 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 disbandment, but I would say that the, this is just the beginning. Until the entire Niger uh, government of the Nigerian police and the mentality of the average Nigerian is uh, reformed, we will just uh, get a reprieve from the, this banning and then only for us to wake up you know, a few days from now, we are back to the same thing. Those people that committed those crimes should be brought to book and then the police should be reformed.